Hey guys, Amber from The Vault here, back with more Mass Effect Andromeda. We're going to go ahead and move to a new mission. Now, we need to go meet with Raylus Unvold. I think that's how you say his name. He's one of the resistance fires for the Angara. We're going to go ahead and see if we can figure out what's going on. We're going to try to figure out if there are friends or not. So let's go ahead and get to know him, guys. I will see you in just a second. All right, guys, here we are, Unvold. Let's go ahead and meet with our guy. I think his name is Raylus. I'm not entirely sure. We'll find out when we get in there. Let's go ahead and check in with him, though. I thought that the temperature was supposed to get better here once we... Once we went through the vault. But it still looks like it's fucking freezing. Alright, so this is Know Your Enemy. Let's go ahead and check in. Kind of see what's going on. Rylus? That's me, yes. I'm Rylus. Wow. You really showed up. You said you had intel. I can't ignore that. I just didn't think you'd come yourself. Anyway, I should get to the point. Your raid on the Exaltation Facility sent the Kets scrambling. They're trying to get their operations in order. Our scouts report increased Ket movement through certain areas of Vold. Not military, though. Science and research vessels. So, something that could involve Exaltation, or the creation of a new Exaltation lab. Well, that's what I thought. Either way, Ket organizing means trouble. We don't have the tech to break into their bases. But someone has to stop them. I'll investigate this if I can. That's all I can ask. Thank you, Ryder. I'll send the nav point immediately. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead, go to the Ket facility. Sorry about that, Rallis. Rallis? Man, I am so bad. I just heard that name like three times and I already can't remember what the hell she said. I, I'm, I apologize for calling you a man. I just made an assumption I shouldn't have made. I just call everybody a man, let's be honest. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and deploy the Mako. I have a feeling- Oh, it's already there. And continuing to fall. Oh, quiet, Sam. Alright, let's go ahead and get there, guys. I'll go ahead and cut when I get there. I have a feeling we have to do a little bit of a drive. As you've noticed, probably- Well, we do, Liam. What are you, my mother? Alright. As I've changed the, uh, paint color. Oh. Oh, there we go. We're fine. Okay. I changed the paint color on the Mako. I wasn't a big fan of the gold. I just kept forgetting to change it. So now it's blue and white. It feels very Andromeda-y. Alright, so I will see you guys in just a second. Thank All you right, for guys. following Rylus's tip, Ryder. Taking out these kit will mean a lot to my people. So here we go, guys. We're going to be doing some fighting. Let's create some, uh... Let's just create a little bit of cover for ourselves here. It's been a few days since I've actually played. I, you know, I take that back. It's been like a week since I've played. So I might have to get used to my controls a little bit again. I've been playing some indie games lately. Why on earth did my... Sometimes this happens. My, uh... My assault turret doesn't go out. I'm not sure why that happens. There's no way they killed it that fast. Man, there are just so many chosen here. Holy crap. I love this turret, guys. I forgot to change to my Omni grenade, though. Damn it. Okay, let's go ahead and keep moving. Can't believe I forgot to change back to that Omni Grenade. It really is super helpful. It's nice to have the, uh, the turret, but it's not quite the same. Oh, shit. Turret! Turret! You have a job to do! There we go. Got them all. That seems too easy. There must be someone inside of here. That seemed like it was way too easy. Really? That's it. Wow. There's a lot of organic material here. Angara, Ket, something else. Scans could tell us more, Pathfinder. Okay. There is an audio log saved on this device, Pathfinder. Ket? 
Let's get a translation, Sam. Processing. The anthology code expresses this projection of a biologic field that's been isolated. The process to integrate this into our own genome is ongoing. Early success is documented. Once complete, adaptation to be distributed to all ascendant and helios. Ability may also prove useful as part of base soldier configurations. All research has been transmitted to the Empire. Exaltation is not just about making more cat. It's an exchange. An exchange requires consenting parties. There's bound to be more here. Let's keep moving. Okay, there's more on this data pad. I don't know if they're... Here we go. There's another one. Oh, okay, so it moved to the other one. Sorry about that. I was trying to figure out what the heck went on. So there's a couple other data pads in here. We're definitely going to want to hit all the other data pads. There's quite a bit. Holy crap. Okay. Let's read these real quick. Ooh. Face Sue. Shoe? Another audio log detected. Let's hear it. Transitions are acknowledged by him. Possible breakdown in connection and information is handled. Investigate. Oh, shit. I didn't mean to turn that off. Sorry about that. Let's go ahead and replay it. Can I replay it? Oh Data shit. Saved. I don't know if I can. Oh shit. Sorry about that, guys. That's okay. I'm sure it wasn't that interesting. I won't touch anything. Picking up the nav point for another cat station. Probably their primary communications. Taking it down will hinder the cat. I say we head there. Okay, let's go ahead and collect this last one. All right, so let's get out to the communication station. Pathfinder, these samples all contain the same genetic sequence. At first, it appears to be a familial connection. But the genome shows signs of modification. Evidence suggests the sequence was drawn from a single individual and incorporated into other cat. The Archon. Exaltation. So does the Archon control the cat because they see him as a progenitor? Or does his rank give him the privilege to propagate his genes like this? A cultural question beyond my purview. In any case, the stuff we found should be of great interest to the science team back on the Nexus. All right, guys, looks like we're going to have to get to that communications facility. What I'll do is go ahead and transition when I get there, guys. I have a feeling it's probably a good bit away, so I'll see you in just a second. All right, guys, I cannot figure out where in the fuck we were supposed to go for this mission. What I did do while I was here, though, was accidentally trip one of those, uh... Environment check. Temperatures are within acceptable parameters. I accidentally tripped... At 100%. I wish you could turn Sam off. I accidentally tripped one of those uh, earn your badge for the resistance things. That's not actually what I wanted to do. So I'm not entirely sure where this communication center is, but there's a big ass building here. So I would think that maybe this is what we're supposed to do. I don't know. So this might be part of a side mission and I apologize if it is. If this turns out to be part of a side mission, I'm still going to include it, but damn, I'm sorry about that. I'm not entirely sure where we're supposed to go, though, because I, uh... Keep alert for Ked. They're not going to want us in here. I ran around a lot of different places. I tried driving up the mountain. I got nothing. And there's no Ket here. So I'm not entirely sure what I'm supposed to be doing. What I do know is there's some containers here, though. And I want the stuff, but it looks like there's supposed to be one giant-ass firefight here. But I also feel like we've been somewhere like this before. Support restored. Hostile shuttle incoming. 
All right, guys, so here's the deal. I think that by accidentally tripping that other mission, I fucked up our or original mission. I don't think I, uh... I'm in the communication center. I don't think I'm in the right place. I think that this is part of earning my badge for the cat resistance. Which, while not what I wanted to do, I mean, it's a side mission and all. I just, I don't know. <laughs> I feel like we might as well do it now that we're here. So I know I usually try to do side missions in a separate video, but we're going to be doing a little bit of half and half on this one. Sorry about that, guys. I don't know, maybe I'll get lucky and I'll cut it properly. <laughs> there we go. I hate these things. Maybe if I cut it properly, you can see it as a side mission. There we go, there we go. Still one more. I assume that means that our thing moves. Now that I think about it, though, I don't know. Does it move? There we go, there we go. Yeah, there we go. Woo. Well, wave after wave of enemies. I see why these are like a side mission, earn your stripes. Apparently what we're supposed to be doing, I don't know if you guys remember the original kind of setup for this. The setup was that we were learning how to be an Angaran, like, fighter. So we'll see how this goes. Okay, they're gonna be right there. Well, that'll help. There we go. Oh, what the hell? Oh, the destined. Now, I, I think that they can cloak nearby enemies. So I think you're supposed to take out your destined as fast as you can. I know they can cloak themselves. I have had them do that to me. And it sucks. Sounds like we're getting more than one shuttle at once now. I'm pretty low on health, too. Our hack is almost done, fortunately. So I think all that does is actually tell it where it, who to attack. I thought that maybe it um, encouraged your turret to move. I thought like it had your turret move over to that area. Oh, shit. I didn't realize I was dying. All right, so looks like we got third one to go. I died, so if you're wondering why I uh, came back a little awkward and weird jump, I died. I didn't realize uh, when this one you when you trip this one, the third one. Here. Let's just say nothing but anointed come your way. There's some chosen, but they are mostly anointed, and it is horrific. Everyone so we're gonna throw our turret out there. That's one thing I don't like about our turrets. I can't seem to move them, so once you place them, you're kind of fucked. Which would ordinarily be fine, but the problem is when you have such a large playing field like this, such a large area you're fighting in, I think I just said large area, such a large area you're fighting in, what ends up happening is you end up dying. Although I guess in the future I could try to lead them toward... We seem to be a lot more chosen this time than they do anointed. I swear there was more anointed last time. There's still a few. Come on, come on, come on. Get those headshots. I have never professed to be a very good shot. I think I make that clear in every game I play. Who is shooting? Oh, it's a fucking destined. I hate those things. Help me, turret. Have I not tripped this console yet? No, I have. Okay. Oh, shits. 
Oh, God, that's so many. That is so many. I might have to switch weapons. Alright, let's go ahead and switch it up. We need something that's a little more rapid fire, a little less precise. There we go. Oh shit! No wonder I'm being destroyed! I didn't realize that guy was right behind us! Oh man, how dumb am I? <laughs> I've been concentrating forward, I didn't even realize there was a guy there. Wow. Disappointment in myself! Okay, let's go ahead and get back in the Mako, guys. Alright guys, so we're supposed to be close to that cat communication center. Ah, I bet you it's that one right up there. It took me a very long time to find this. I, uh... Sometimes your... Like, your sense of direction and your HUD do not agree. And they send you in two separate directions. And it makes no sense. Sometimes you have to go the opposite of what your HUD tells you to do. It's very confusing. So it took me a little while to find this. Sorry about that, guys. We're gonna go ahead and investigate this communication center now. Ooh, here did I get are. stuck in here? Catcom outpost. Not that surprise. That seems to happen. Are they behind us? Oh, shit. They are. I didn't realize they were behind us. Shoots. Wow, I feel stupid. I drove us right into a uh, firefight. That was probably a poor use of my assault turret. I'm gonna let my assault turret take care of him. Just real quick while we're here. Yep. I know we got incoming cat. We're working on it. Come on, come on, come on, come on. This is where my assault turret really comes in handy. I'm glad that they're coming to us this time. Oh, shit. I gotta pay more attention to who's around me. Let's see, let's go ahead and... I don't really need the precise nature of this, but it is one of my best guns. There we go. Oh, there we go. Nice! That reminds me to go get my Omni Grenades. I keep saying I'm gonna. And I keep not. Okay, you know what? I'm sick of this. Ooh. It is never a good idea to just run away. Oh shit. I gotta get inside the Mako. I don't have time for this. Enemies! It's too cold here for us. We don't have time. I know, I know, I know. Okay. Whew. The problem is we're too cold. So when we get out of the Mako, we're getting ourselves totally screwed. There we go, there we go. Get back in, get back in. No! Not melee! Okay. Woo! We should be able to get some heat down here at the facility, though. We shouldn't have to worry about getting cold down here. Alright, so I think we're taking out all the cat. Thank God, too. It was just... It was about time. I don't actually want to have my gun out. That's quite the ordeal to get over here, guys. Finally, we're safe. I'm Ooh. detecting below normal temperatures. And not anymore. Okay, let's see. Search for more information. The Archon's not the Ket Supreme Leader. There's more like him all over Andromeda. All gathering genetic information and transmitting it back. And making more Ket in the process. Ross, communication orders required to 
Welcome to Mount Tabuk, all transmissions from the Gala Data to the Empire. It's a bridge protocol. Sounds like people are questioning their leader. Good, in this case. All right, let's see. A little bit more in here to do. Get collect all of our info. Communications. Only Archon is aware of shifting situation in Helios. If Archon's opinion is that protocols are not to our benefit, accept his wisdom. He is the Senate's voice in Helios and must be obeyed. There's something here. I don't believe the Primus and the Archon agree. Oh, damn it. I don't know what to do, because I kind of agree. I don't think maybe that was their original goal either. I think maybe Archon's maybe going rogue, so maybe there is hope for peace with the cat. It's just that the Archon's fucking crazy. I don't know, I, I agree with Jal. It sounds like the cat are starting to question what the Archon's doing. If this continues, it might be good for all of us. So what's next? There is likely nothing to be done, but conflicts between factions seldom resolve quietly. Then we'll just have to keep an ear to the ground for now. With luck, something will happen. Support at 100%. All right, so there. We actually finished the entire... We went ahead and made it 100%. That feels I'm very good. The temperature decrease. All right, so looks like we're going to have to wait until we get some more intel on the cat. And I, I think... It sounds to me I'm with, in agreement with Jaw. I think that maybe You're they don't agree. for someone who appears so completely chaotic. Thanks. I think. It's about tactical risks. Had some vets spell that out. 